Good day, you are welcome to our home. You are welcome to our channel. You are highly welcome, my friends. Thank you so much for being there for me. Thank you for being one of my subscribers. God bless you. Today, what I have for you, we are going to talk about the dry leaf. I know some of you will say what mama is talking about. It's a mystery. Please get a dry leaf. Any kind of leaf at all. Get the dry leaf. Hold it in your hand. Hold this leaf in your hand. And listen to what the leaf is going to do for you. See this. Power that will make you, you that you are watching me, to be in the camp of the enemy. It's a dry leaf this year. Because God has said it. He said it. He will do it for you. The God has said it. And he will do it for you. He said this year. He will deflate every man or woman that is against his neighbor. His friend. So, for you to walk out of this, the, the, the promises of God, where God promised Moses that he's going to visit Herod with 11 miracles, with tough, tough signs and wonders. What happened? He said it. He did it. So, please, anywhere you are on the surface of earth, I want to encourage you. Get a dry leaf in your hand. Hold this leaf and hear what is going to happen. Where there is no power, even dry leaf will be bursting. <laughs> who is he? Listen to the Bible that is speaking to that dry leaf. He said, who is he that will say a thing to, that he come to pass the book of lamentation? Why, Father, is he seated in the heaven? He has not yet commanded it. So if dry leaf is bursting against you, please speak this word to your chest. You said that when the winds blow, the dry leaf, the winds will blow away the dry leaf. Imagine where tree is standing. The dry one among them, when we wind blow, the dry one, the dead one will fall off. I pray for someone who will say a better amen. That any, any dry leaf that pours itself in your way to your Damascus, the fire of God, the arrow of God, the well wide winds of God will blow them off your way in the name of Jesus Christ. When you are going to the promised land, a land where Paul becomes Saul, he become a prophet of God. Every born, every human being, even sinners, they has what they call promised land. Except you refuse to repent. You refuse to meet with your dry, with, with, with your, the winds that will blow away the dry leaf that confronted you. All those problems that confronted you, that make you to lie down in the camp of the enemy. They are called dry leaf. When you hold on to the dry leaf in your hand, you can use bay leaf. You can use any kinds of leaf you can find around you. Please write the name, the, 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 the kinds of problem you are passing through. As you hold it in your hand, squeeze it like this. After writing the name on it, squeeze it like this. And you said to that leaf in your hand, it's a wide wind of God. Blow away my trouble. Do not blow it to the air. And at the end, a lot of things that you cannot do before. You see yourself doing them. Some things that has no root in your life. Any problem you have in your life is not planted by God. And any tree that is not planted by God shall be uprooted. 
The enemy will look for you this year, they will not find you. They will seek for you, they will not see you. They will use their light, they will not find you. God Almighty will rise a standard against them. And this year, you will move from grace to grace to grace to grace in Jesus' name. And to paraventure, you find yourself that after doing all the ritual, and it look as if it's not working. Remember, the Bible says, iron sharpened iron. Don't hesitate to look for your minister. Every problem, every household has its own minister. I may not be sent to the whole world, but there are few people that believe in me and they have testimony. You, if you are one of them, call my line. God bless you. We'll meet again. Remember, we have a date. We have Holy Ghost Hour in Lokoja in Nigeria. God bless you. I say, come, may you remain blessed.